What's good, gente? Thank you guys once again, like always, for tuning in. As you guys can see on the thumbnail and on the title, ran two Northern Cali rappers got shut down in Santa Cruz, California, which happens to be a city in the Northern Cali that is run by the South, homie. Happens to be my backyard, and I happen to know a little bit about this city, right? So we're going to be putting the actual news clip where they actually talk about the incident and actually explain that something did happen and something did go down and it wasn't shut down due to these northern cali rappers not wanting to perform no that's not the case but we will get into all that on this video but before we do man i would highly appreciate it if you hit that like subscribe hit that follow hit that notification bell just in case we go live because it's gonna be a good one homie and i will be putting some things out there so that it will actually explain how it actually goes down in santa cruz california right without actually sugarcoating and downplaying some of these dudes because at times some people may get in their feelings thinking that we're either hating on the norm or the south and that's never the case right here so with all that being said man i would highly appreciate like i said if you hit that like subscribe that notification bell and all that good stuff don't hesitate to drop comments to let me know what you guys think through the video or when you guys are done man let me know what you guys think about this situation because there's a lot of people that are going one side of the way and in all reality you you can't do that bro so let's get into this video so a lot of people are saying that the upstaters you know they ended up running out these dudes out of that bar where they were gonna perform right and i'm actually gonna say that's not the case that's not how it really went down of course they did show up they did put in work and they did let people know that hey north northern cali rappers or anyone pushing the north thing wasn't going to really be tolerated in santa cruz but let's clear up some things because one of the videos that i did see um, they kind of mentioned that there was only 10 sudanians that ended up pulling up out of all the upstaters that they requested let's be real man i guarantee you there was more upstaters maybe just not all up in the open like that but they did do their thing and let me add this little clip just so that some people can actually know what i'm speaking of because regardless someone actually did get stabbed and let's add that clip man so you guys can actually see what i'm talking about police are looking for multiple suspects accused of stabbing a man outside of the catalyst saturday night officers say they were called to the venue around 7 52 p.m saturday night where a man waiting in line to enter the club for a concert was approached by multiple people who asked if he had any gang ties police say that's when a fight started ending with the man being stabbed with an unknown object he was taken to a bay area hospital with non-life-threatening wounds police still searching for the suspects the so as you guys were able to hear and somewhat seen right because that is the the little news clip from from the area right here um as you guys were able to hear right there there was someone that did jam up some Norteño because i mean the one that got stabbed had to be a northerner you know it had to be some Norteño that was either there with the the whole performance crew or just happens to be someone that just wanted to see them rap homie so they did jam him up and once they ended up finding out that he did have some type of gang ties they did their thing homie they someone got stabbed and they got they were able to maneuver and get out the scene so if they were able to do that homie that just lets me know that they happen to be sudanos homie you know so they don't really have to say all those details on, on the news thing for someone like me to actually realize and know kind of what would happen what happened right so by them doing that that actually got the whole little concert or whatever these dudes actually had going on shut down bro like i was saying earlier i don't think that gb and i don't even want to say his name bro because i'll probably mess it up um ended up running out because or getting chased out from santa cruz because i guarantee you they had pulled up with some people and they had some allegedly's bro everybody carries those allegedly's nowadays and 
they would have been safe. There would have been some stuff that probably would have happened after midnight and when people get drunk. But the bar owners weren't going to take the chance. And it's understandable, man. A lot of businesses ain't going to make their actual business uh, a war zone, an uncomfortable environment. And you guys got to remember, things that like this do affect businesses, bro. So I guarantee you, like, the tourists or people that live that lifestyle ain't going to really want to go to those areas again. Or they will, but it'll take some time. Because stuff like this does happen a lot in Santa Cruz. And I'll remind you, it's a beautiful city. It's a beautiful town. Like how people, everybody likes to say, man, you got to go to Santa Cruz. Got to go check it out. But I do always tell people, man be on your toes don't get it twisted just because you see hippies you see people getting you know what i'm saying just being on on a good one and happy that doesn't always um that's not always the same thing for everybody bro if you happen to be rasa you probably will get jammed up by someone the town has changed a lot when it comes to the whole sureño environment because they do have norteños i'll throw that in there but it still happens to be a, a town that is run by the sur and no matter what people like to say about the upstaters, they're always going to hold it down, homie. And people got to stop downplaying them, G. Straight up. Some people, uh, they, they, they talk real bad about them. And in all reality, they would never say some shit like that to their face, man. Those are just facts. But we ain't going to try to put the cape on for anybody. I just felt that it was only right that I would put a video out so that you guys can actually see that something did go down. And it wasn't canceled because these dudes were scared let me add that no i guarantee you they'll probably end up pulling up pretty soon again in santa cruz especially if they did have a sold out uh, bar concert whatever you i guarantee you they're gonna go back for that feria or either make it right for for the hand thing man but we'll see what happens with the whole security because they already chased these dudes once or they canceled out a show. I guarantee you they're going to try to do it again. So with all that being said, gente, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, man, make sure to hit a like. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that follow. Hit that notification bell just in case we go live. And for the ones that were wondering if the upstaters did put in work. Hey, the clip's right there, bro. I will include it one more time just in case you happen to miss it so that you guys can be aware that if you come to Santa Cruz, por favor, man, be trucha. It is a lovely city, but not everybody's welcome like that, G. Straight up. So with that being said, man, this is your boy Conejo. Catch you guys in the next one. We out. Police are looking for multiple suspects accused of stabbing a man outside of the Catalyst Saturday night. Officers say they were called to the venue around 7.52 p.m. Saturday night, where a man waiting in line to enter the club for a concert was approached by multiple people who asked if he had any gang ties. Police say that's when a fight started, ending with the man being stabbed with an unknown object. He was taken to a Bay Area hospital with non-life-threatening wounds. Police still searching for the suspects. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Woohoo! What fuck squirt gun? Ooh, fuck,